after Memorial Day. I thought I'd come out here. The lake was packed yesterday, so packed you couldn't get out here. So I decided to come out this morning, see what we could find. I switched over to water season, uh, land hunting here in Texas, getting too dry and getting really too hot. And uh, so I switched over to water. This is my first water hunt. And uh, let's see what we can get this morning. Hopefully we'll get a few rings. If not, then we'll just see what we can find. I'll show you at the end. Here's my first target. I dug a, a pull tab, but here's a necklace. It's not anything fancy, but it uh, is a necklace. Nonetheless, my first thing for 2021 in the water. So hopefully we'll get a ring out of this. So let's uh, keep on rolling to see what we can get. All right, back out the lake today. <clears throat> this is actually my third trip to this lake. I came out the day after uh, Memorial Day and uh, didn't get anything. Came back the next day and I found that necklace that you saw and a couple of trash and pennies and things like that. But I come back out here today because it's just not a lot going on right now. This is the first time I'm really going out detecting any length of time. But I've got my first good signal. I'm out in about chest deep of water, kind of in the favorite place in this lake where I find everything, not too far from where I found that necklace. It's kind of where all the kids kind of swim and stuff. But can you hear that? Got a good, bringing up like an 83. So. Let's go down there and let's get it. Hopefully it's going to be a silver ring. All right, let's go get it. Well, there it is. That's going to be my first ring. It's going to be a silver ring. I think I see 925 in it, but it's pretty much going to be probably CZ and just a fake stone. Looks like rings you find at Walmart. But hey, it's a silver ring nonetheless. It's a pretty one though, isn't it? First ring for the season. I'll take that, I'll take that any day. All right, if there's one, I mean, there's been, it's very quiet. There's hardly any signals out here, not even any money, change, or anything. I've dug a fishing weight. That's all I've dug so far. And a piece of aluminum, but uh, nothing else. Just not a lot in the lake right now. I may give this about another 30 minutes trying the deep water right now, and I'm going to head on over to another lake. So, all right, there we go. Check that out. I'll take it. Let's keep going. It's been a little while since I've got my last target. i uh been about 30 minutes. Still kind of out here in this one area, but back in the shallow water now, about waist deep. But I'm getting a... Let's see if I can find it again. a 67 to a 70 it's jumping up and down um, sometimes that's one of going to be those tungsten rings are going to ring up like that so let's see if I can pinpoint it it's only about waist deep let's see if I can just go down by hand let me see if we can go down there together and see if we can get it here we go deeper than I thought. It was kind of floating up, but yeah, it's going to be a very nice silver tungsten ring. Probably tungsten, tungsten carbide, one of the two. They're very pretty. Check that out. All right. Well, there's two rings out of here. Wasn't a wasted, wasted day. I think I'm going to head on out because the only thing that I've gotten so far is uh, these two rings. I'm going to go to one more lake. real popular lake, about 35 minute drive. So I'll see you guys out in the water. I moved on to the other lake got my digging a lot of change out here so that's a good sign that uh, this hasn't really been hunted got my first uh, good signal it's ringing up like an 85 and it's going to be one of those James Avery uh, initial rings in and you can see that it's going to be pretty nice you know to clean up really good it's got some tarnish on it should be a James Avery initial ring all right let's keep on going that's ring number one out here ring number three for the day Not too far. 
far away from that other one, just a little bit out deeper, I got another 82 signal and uh, scooped it up. And uh, as you saw in the, in the scoop on the go, I don't see any markings in it, but it was ringing up like a silver. That's ring number two out here, ring number four for the video. So let's keep going. Must not been hunted yet. Digging a lot of money though. All right, let's keep going. Well, I was getting a 70 here, uh, out here kind of chest deep water. It's kind of an erratic 70, jumping around, and I can see why, because it's a uh, it's a hollow cross here. So, Preacher Digger got his cross. That's always a good sign. I got my cross, and uh, now I got a little another little piece of necklace while I go. And so there's some stuff out here to be found. So uh, let's keep swinging, see what we can, uh, we can get. So now it's an episode, isn't it? Preacher Digger got his cross. Let's keep on going. I was getting a real choppy 70 signal, still out here about chest deep water, and uh, you can see it's, uh, I think it says 925 silver chain. Alright, I like digging these silver chains. Maybe I can put that on the cross now and got me a little cross chain and another little silver necklace. I think the first thing I found was a silver necklace too. Alright, I'll uh, lay this out and show, you to, at the, at the, show it to you at the wrap up, so let's keep on going. Go check this out. $93.94. Either that's going to be a big men's silver ring or it's going to be a, a Kennedy clad half dollar because I've done hunts when I was the president of the Rust County Treasure Hunters Association and we threw out half dollars out here and not all of them were found so it's going to be one of these two so let's go down there and see what it is. Well I was hoping for a big silver ring but like I said it's going to end up being a 1991 I think. Uh, I think it's a 91. Kennedy half dollar. It's the ones I threw out here and I threw these out in the lake probably Oh, seven years ago, seven, eight, about six or seven years ago, we threw these out as a, we do a thing called, we call it a surf and turf hunt. And we did uh, the turf hunt up there in the park and we planted all types of coins, but then we came out here and we threw silver rings and clad half dollars and 40% and half dollars. We threw them all out here in the lake. And uh, that's amazing that every year I always dig one, one of these up. So, all right, that's gonna be it for me today. I'll show you everything once I get to the house and do a wrap up with you. Well, I made it back from the lake. Actually, I have just kind of went to the lake like four different times this week, just a little bit every evening and stuff. And it's my first water hunt. And didn't do too bad on my first water hunt. Didn't do as good as I did last year on my first water hunt. But I had a pretty good hunt nonetheless. Uh, can't do any more hunting here in Texas. It's getting too hot, number one. The ground's gonna get too dry. It's gonna kill the yards if you get in the yards. We don't have any fields around here to really detect. But though relics so we just switch over to water hunting so for now to now till about uh first weekend in uh, october i'll be pretty much just doing uh lake river ocean just doing water hunting but i uh, had a pretty good trip uh let me spin you around let me show you what i got there we go here's what we got i'll show you my equipment right quick i, I use these dive boots these uh, sea soft sun rays which are really good uh, I've got my scoop cam set back up this year where you can get the get the thing coming from uh, when I scoop it up uh, Here's my new camera equipment This is the one that I film away from me and that one's filming at me at the same time and I carry these on a on the the lanyard uh, with me There's my little water pouch Here's my little finds box. I put everything in afterwards hunting with my Garrett AT Pro. I love hunting with that in the water and uh, just got my headphones fixed. They messed up. And uh, hopefully you can still hear me with all the wind starting to blow up. But here's my finds. I got, here's all the aluminum uh, foil, aluminum foil. Got a little fish hook, some fish weights, things like that. A lot of bottle caps. 
and aluminum caps and uh, lots of these little be uh, beaver tails. Not so much beaver tails, but the pull tabs, the square ones. Some miscellaneous stuff right here. And then I also dug this. I'm assuming, if you look, that comes off like a remote control boat, boat or something. That's the drive shaft. I don't know. But I guess that's what that is. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments. But here's my finds. I got a 1991 Kennedy half dollar. I got seven quarters, and I got nine dimes, two nickels, and eight pennies, eight pennies. And that's the clad. I got me a earring, it's not gold. Got me another little religious item here. Not sure what that is, get it focused in. Got another necklace, I never dug one of these. It's uh, Each one of these is a different, uh, Saint or it's a Saint Anthony necklace looks like it's been in the water some time But it's got one big one right here Saint Anthony and it has all these other Saint Anthony's on it and has a little crosses on the back uh, Got me a silver chain There's nine two five Written on it got some other little necklace right here not real certain of what that is and uh, I don't know, it's got little, little, I think it's a religious pendant. I'm not really certain there. Never seen this one before. I dig a lot of them. So if you know what that is, let me know. I'm really not certain, I have to look that up. Then Preacher Digger got his cross. Gotta have his cross, right? I love digging those crosses. And I got four rings on this trip. And I got this one. There's no marking in it. Ring up like silver, but I can tell the way it feels it's not going to be silver. It's just going to be uh, aluminum or junk. I don't know. It's, I call, I'm going to call it junk. Did get this real nice uh, tungsten carbide uh, ring. That's a real nice one. I got this, uh, get over here where you can see it, James Avery. It's an initial ring. So James Avery. I have the N. Now I have the M for Michael. And then my best find was this one right here. It's going to be a silver ring, probably engagement ring, and that's a fake stone. It's going to be some CZs on it. It's not going to be real diamonds, but it's very pretty, though. Look at that. Very pretty. And uh, so there they are. There's all the finds for this trip, this water hunting trip. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe and help me support this channel that I can go out and keep doing these great hunts and hopefully I can make some good hunts for you to enjoy there on YouTube. So there's all the trash. Here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what's out in a lake, my friends. The greatest treasure is what's up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up until we meet again. Just wanna say happy hunting and God bless. <laughs>